Hey guys, Jarrell here, back with more reactions to Travelers. It is the season finale. This is episode 12 of season 2. Um, it's all kind of come to a head regarding what's going on with Vincent and this other guy who's suffering from schizophrenia, another traveler, who helped build all the uh, network and the dark web network that they use for their communications. The guy's a genius, but has suffered the same kind of fate that uh, Marcy had where the director obviously put him in somebody who was going to end up developing this uh, schizophrenia so and the problem is they were going to go straight for Trevor after they managed to track him down by using his shrink the only problem is and I, I kind of saw this coming he is already on to them he's been monitoring them all this time which um, the guy actually showed them how he'd been doing it through their communication network and he has just in effect kidnapped his psychologist and said McLaren has got to meet him at a time of his dreaming at a, a time of his choosing where and when otherwise her and her daughter will never be seen again this guy is ridiculously dangerous and because he's got all this influence and power I don't know how they're going to stop him but they're going to have to do something anyway that's pretty much where we left it the other thing I want to mention because it was quite a big thing that Carly lost it um, with her boyfriend this time with just cause because he was back to his old ways had a drink thought he was entitled to get some from her wouldn't back down but it was Philip who made a inadvertent phone call because I think he knew this adjusted history update he had that she was going to get him. He's intervened and he stopped her. That is going to have ramifications. I just don't know what yet. Anyway, let's carry on and see what happens with this season finale. Hopefully, this Vincent 001 business gets resolved somehow. I just don't know how. Let's go find out. My consciousness was sent from the distant future into the body of Special Agent Grant McLaren moments before he would historically have died in the line of duty. What are you doing? In truth, I am Traveler 3468. What? One of thousands of travelers around the world who have come from a time when life is all but wiped out. Good afternoon, Agent McLaren. Where is she? Parole, she's safe. You kidnapped and tortured my team. Killed travelers all over the world. I needed to know if the director was still after me, and that suspicion was confirmed. I am tired of running. Take a selfie, you can end it right now. For me, the digital <laughs> age has created a prison around me, one that's been shrinking over time. My son shouldn't have to pay for the mistakes of his father. If you want to see your wife again, follow this simple instruction. Stay out of my way. Said he's going to show himself to the director and face punishment, but he wants us all to stand down so he can make arrangements for his son. That's his insurance. If he finds out we're looking for her. What about Perot? He claims she's still alive, but you should all check on your loved ones and make sure they're okay. Guys, David's gone. So are Jeff and the baby. Marcy, the place is destroyed. He has them captive. And he warned you things could get worse. The man said he was going to give himself up to the director. Let's just wait this and out. you believe him? Why would he go through He's the trouble? He's psychotic. Jesus. They think we're some new terrorist organization. Cells in over 100 countries. Why wouldn't they? They haven't acted because they're scared as shit. I'm a psychologist. Where am I? I'm not permitted to tell you that. There are questions I'm supposed to ask you. They've taken my daughter, Ava. Now, if we just work together and do what they want, they'll let us all go. When did you first notice changes in your husband? There we go. This is what this is about. There isn't much time. I know. I have a clock in my head. I need more coolant. Did you bring it? Everything you need is in this room. Just answer the questions if you want us both to get out of here. OK. Is it true that one day Marcy's cognitive abilities changed and for all intents and purposes, she was an entirely different person? Didn't that seem odd to you? Of course it did. I thought a miracle had happened. Are you kidding me? You have doctor-client privilege with me. You're not my doctor. David. She's a doctor. Marcy Wharton. With the FBI, undercover. She goes on secret missions. I've said too much. And you believed her? Yeah, I met her boss. 
Grant McLaren, he's real. I've been to his office. God, he's gonna kill me. I cracked in like five seconds. David. <laughs> that is the stupidest thing I've ever she heard. She was supposed to be killed by a group of men outside the library where she worked. Seconds yeah. before her death, a consciousness was sent from the future, supplanting Marcy's own. Just a few months ago, that consciousness was replaced yet again. She called it memory loss. All this is accurate. I... What the fuck have you been smoking? <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, wow. Yes. You do? Ray? Ray, wake yeah, up. Yeah, I was right. He got me out of a legal jam recently. Oh, for God's sakes. What? I know him too. The cop. He's a cop? Apparently a time traveler from the future. She said my husband was too. Dr. Perot. Mm-hmm. If you don't actually believe that. Of course not. Of course not. How do you know my husband works with the FBI? He's Marcy's boss, isn't he? David Mailer. You're the social worker creep that was screwing around with the retarded girl, Marcy. That's a hateful word. Okay, wait. <laughs> and you are? I don't want to know. A high school guidance counselor. Oh, OK. That makes perfect sense. Oh, don't you touch me. No. Where are you taking me? Let me go! Grant, in order? For me to be released and armed, you must confess to being a traveler on video. That's the types. We've been kidnapped. I know that sounds crazy, but... How much do you owe, Varghese? Boss, I have to say, if we do this, it goes against everything we trained for. I know. I want nothing more than to hold my son right now. But the mission comes first. If you sit down at that computer with the intention of confessing, you will be over it. I think I know how we can do this and still maintain protocol one. I can track the video on the back channels and find his location. What if it spreads? I'll know where it goes. When the time comes, we can shut it down. Yeah, if the director lets us get that far. Still not struck by lightning. That is a quantum frame. It has to be. You can't be a director. They don't have that kind of tech or power. Oops. Simon! It's overheating! Shut it down! Simon! I told you, the device requires... Simon! Can you fix it? The guy travels through time, becomes a junkie, mm. and his only friend is a lawyer with a gambling addiction who uses him? I'd like to uh, keep us on track. Where's my son? Jeffrey's OK. There are some things about Carly you need to know. And we've taken extra precautions with Philip's virus. Now, once we get to Vincent, we can corrupt the video. I just need time to flush him out. The intelligence agencies already have a target on our back. Well, then let's work together and get ahead of it. The director has kept watch over my entire life, knowing the outcome of every decision, crafting my path forward. But here, I see people every day who still believe in free will. Do any of you think this could actually be true? What? A few months ago, I definitely noticed changes in Grant. It was truly like he was a different person. Like time travel is actually possible? OK, maybe you could send information in the form of some coherent energy across space time. But to calculate an exact position would require an almost impossible level of accuracy, not to mention nearly a billion zettaflops of processing power, and then to unpack it somehow without entropy <laughs> in a she can't contain herself, biological. Can she? What do you do yeah. again? Yeah, that exactly. Is Marcy, I just want to go home. My purpose is to save lives, whether that's a teammate in jeopardy or someone that's part of a mission ordered by the director. And I can't help but think that I've put one person's life in more danger than they deserve. I'm confused. So it is a director who's trying to build. Oh, I don't know. It's working. It's working. Videos have been disseminated to servers in nearly every major city. Any luck over there? Locked out of everything. You said you could control the virus. Yeah, well, he's pretty good, too. The world is about to find out who we are. Yeah. Why isn't the director stepping in? We must eventually find a way to solve this. 
He's sending us a message. UDIDs, MAC addresses, possible coordinates. He's making us work for it. You've seen the two. Can't get out of it. He sent it to all the major news outlets, intelligence agencies. I have to believe that 21st century skepticism is alive and well. Yeah, it should time, be. Sure, but what about your wife? Boss, I think I know where they are. Sending you coordinates. Oh, hell, they're watching them all. That just confirms it. They are in serious trouble here. Everyone they care about. If you have any questions about what you've just seen, feel free to ask Grace. She's one of them. Shit. I'll be home soon. I love you. to say goodbye. I'm scared. Don't be. You did it, Simon. The device works perfectly. I was part of the original test program for consciousness transfer. Something we had to master before we could even dream of traveling back through time. I'll never forget what I saw the first time I woke up. My former body glassy eyes staring back at me. That image stays with me everywhere I go. Wait. I'm lost here. Is he dead? <sighs> what the hell was that? Traveler 5692, arrival successful. I know what's happened here. That's Vincent. Let me know when you have confirmation that the device has been moved. You I need to speak with my son. Son of a bitch! Did your father explain to you that you're going to be living with me for a while? Yeah, but he didn't say why. For the purposes of this recording, he has asked me to break doctor-patient confidentiality. This is not a subject one can discuss openly because, frankly, it flies in the face of 21st century science. Travelers do exist. Shit. They are spies. Terrorists. And they will not stop until their director has achieved its primary goal, the grand plan. Oh my god, they're gonna kill him. They know no, our they secrets. Know. They know our future. They gain our trust, our affection. But it's all a lie. How the hell are these going to react? Pat, I was so afraid. Who are you? Dude. Dude. Don't, don't touch me. We can get yeah. through this. I don't think so. I'm going to hand it to you, kid. You were straight with me from the start. He was. Well, let's not pretend we're friends. Please let me hold him. Stay the hell away from my side. You hear me? You, this whole thing. No, 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 I can explain who did this. I don't want to hear anything from you. You killed my husband. What an absolutely fabulous season finale and twist that I didn't see coming. That was really good. And it's just knackered everything. What the hell are they going to do now? So, the world knows. They're all seen as terrorists. They're not seen as saviours of any kind. Because Vincent has seen to that. I didn't caught on, on to exactly what he was doing. I couldn't work out what that machine exactly was. We now know. And then it just dawned on me. When the psychologist was in the back of the car reading the thing. And I'm like, hang on a minute. And then it showed Vincent there, dead. And then another traveller arriving his body. And then it just snapped in my head. I'm like, that's what he's after in Simon doing all this time. It was in effect a quantum frame to allow the director to him know where he is. So it would overwrite. But he already vacated the body with his consciousness into the psychologist. It's why he took her. It was nothing to do with outing McLaren. He needed her. God damn, that's that's a, a brilliant master plan. But at the same time, he's just 
left an absolute catastrophic mess behind him because now Carly's fella, Ray, David, all of them now, um, McLaren's wife, don't want to know, don't want to have anything to do with him because they now know they are not the people that they thought they were, that they've been in effect replaced by people that they don't know and all the questions and little things that they noticed even McLaren's wife said she's like I noticed him change all of them now know why they've had a full blown plausible explanation why and it more or less proven to them all and even there then with Marcy when she tried to run up to Dave and he's like no I don't no I don't want to know damn and he's in the wind still Vincent he's still traveler 001 but he has now transferred to her and the director will have no clue but that was a fabulous season finale I can't wait to see the start of season 3 now and see what's going to happen what, what's going to take place how are they going to get out of this if the world knows or even <laughs> Even if the pessimistic 21st century way of looking at things like McLaren mentioned um, puts the time travel thing to one side because it can it sounds completely implausible and far-fetched and something that a tabloid newspaper would come out of it with to just bully it up more. The important word is the T word. They're a terrorist group. They look like a massive cell that's been operating worldwide. It's not just them, it's everyone all worldwide who are going to be outed now. And he's still got control, or at least it appears that way. Vincent's still got control of all these back channels in the, um, that they use with their communication network. So where did Simon go? Now he'd use Simon. Did he just kill him? Did he just wipe him? I don't know. It's not actually shown that bit. So I guess we're going to have to start season three now. They are all now, in effect, estranged from their partners. And they've got to try and somehow piece this back together. And the director has not gotten involved with any of it. Why? Why is the director not got involved? It makes no sense. There's no way it would allow its entire traveller programme to be um, brought out of the shadows and displayed to the world. Something's going to happen. I just don't know what. But that was good. That was really, really good. The best, the best line in that entire episode was when she was speaking to David, the, uh, the shrink, and she explained it all to him, and he's like, what the hell have you been smoking? That was fabulous, and he used the F word, because it's the first time I've ever heard him swear. They purposely put that in, because that's how ludicrous it sounded at that point, but not anymore. Down. Right, post your comments down below. Let me think of this episode because this was done really, really well. I don't know where they're going to go with season three with this. They're obviously still going to have to try and stop him, but they now don't know his face, his whereabouts, his name, and what he's going to do next. And how to put all this Pandora's box back together because he's let it out and left just utter destruction behind him. I see something else being intervened from the future. I just don't know what. Right. That will do. That will be that is the end of season two. That was season finale, episode twelve. We will be back next week with the first episode of season three. Until then, guys, don't forget the episode will be available over on Patreon as normal in full length. If you want to go and check that out and watch it in entirety with the, my reaction, you can check out the link below in the description as always. Also, while you are at it, please don't forget to subscribe, give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I will see you for the next episode very soon. Till then guys, thanks a lot for watching, take care. Don't